These are the 95 series EE prongs. Uh, this one is the smallest one, 95010, and this is the largest one I have, 95512. Uh, they use the SPI interface, and in the 1.50, I have added all these chips supported. In the previous software, only supported one type, uh, is S, uh, 95P08 which is almost equivalent to this one, uh, 95080. So if this chip is on the board, you can directly make the contact from with this kind of a clip. Uh, but I'm purchasing this on the uh, AliExpress and I'm making this connection through this board. So the Unink NT connect to the pin here and this there, we need to pull up the pins like we do for SPI flash, uh, the right pin and hold pin needs to be pulled high. So in the software, the connection is here. We can click here. You can see we need to connect the S clock here to the clock here, and then SI is SI, same as the uh, SPI flash and the CS. And so this pin is right pin and this is hold pin. They both need to be pulled to the power. And by the way, this, these chips are 3.3 volts. So I can directly connect from the Unink NT 3.3 volt. In your case, if you already have the power, you may not need to connect the power from here. So let's make the, uh, let's read the first chip. So. And we can click. So in here, we can try to read and we do have it. So let's try to erase it. And after erase, we can check if it's blank or not, it's blanked. Now we can say, I want to program it. And we can try to verify, of course, this is not blank anymore. So this is not blank, but this is, does match what we do here. So this E prom is very little. Uh, let's see how many. This is, six, one, uh, this is 64, 128 bytes. This is 128 bytes of E prom. So now let's unplug, go to the second one. So read the zero two zero. Uh, in the configuration here, we select EEPROM, and now you can see we have a two, zero two zero. Let's read it. Let's see if this is make good contact. It is. So if you click the blank. The blank check now is not blank. Now let's erase it and blank, or you can read it. So this is OFF. Uh, this is 250, let me check. This is 256 bytes. So let's write it and verify. Yes, let's move on to 080. This is zero. Zero one zero zero two zero. Oh, let me check. This one is. This one is zero four zero. Let's connect it. Zero four zero. Let's read it. Do we have it's it does not seem to have good contact. Let's check. We can use the right command to see if we have good contact. This does not have good contact. Let's try again. Yeah, this one we do have it. So we can try it. Let's read it. 
we have some data there. Uh, by the way, this is uh, uh, 128, uh, 256, 512 bytes. So this is 512 bytes. Of course, there's some data there. It's not blank. Let's, let's erase it. Erase it and blank check. It's blanked. If we read it now, it's all empty. Yes. And then we can program in there and verify it. It's okay. So now let's move on to the next chip, which is one kilobyte, uh, which is called 080. By the way, there are two types of 080. Uh, one is SP, uh, uh, ST95P08. A slightly different algorithm. If you if you look at here in the configuration, uh, we do have the ST95P08. This one and the other one has slightly different address, but in this this chip is using this configuration. And now we can read. See if we have read one kilobyte. No. Uh, I think we don't have good contact. So let's. Okay, we can read the data here. This, by the way, this is one kilobyte. And let's try to erase it. Erase this one kilobyte. And now we can read back the one kilobyte. It's all FFs. Or if you click this button called blank check, it's blanked. And now we have the content loaded into memory and we can write it. can verify it's all okay so now move on to the next chip which is two kilobytes so this is nine five one six zero Go to the configuration, 95160 here. Let's read it. Do we have the data? Yes, we do. So this, this flash has the size of uh, two kilobyte. So blank check fail, let's erase it. Erase and blank check will pass blanked. Now let's write to it and we can verify it. It's okay. So now move to the next one is 320. 95320. In select target 320. Click. We can read, we have data here. So, blank check fail, erase it, blank check passed, and now we can write and we can verify. So, this is we can see the clock is a little bit high now it's using 9 megahertz uh, we can try using 18 megahertz see if it works okay so we can see verify yeah still work so erase it and we can blank check blank so write to it if you compare the writing speed they are almost identical slightly di difference because majority of the time it's uh, waiting for the uh, EEPROM to be programmed. So even though we select high clock speed, we do not achieve high uh, writing speed. We may slightly be a little bit faster in reading speed. So verify. 
Uh, you see this level from zero reading. Uh, let's ch check. Zero, zero, 007, zero, zero, 009, almost identical. So now let's go to the next one, which is 640. So 95640. We go to configuration, 640, and we can try to read. Let's see, all oh, the data is here, perfect. So let's do blank check, failed, erase it, and blank check passed. So now verify should fail because we haven't programmed it. Now let's write it. Verify. Perfect. So 640. Now go to the 95128. It's become bigger and bigger. So 95128. And let's read. No, no read. Or it is a read, I don't know. Let's load the data and see if we can program it. Yeah, we do have it. So. Wow, we don't have any data here. Let's uh, write. Okay, I think we have the improper connection. Let's check. Oh, it's reverse, chip reverse. We may burn the chip. So let's read it. Yeah, this one has, this one is right connection now. So previously we have the flip the upside down. So now if we blank check, it failed. Let's erase it. Now we can blank check, it's blanked. So write memory, verify it's okay. So this is 128. So now let's go to 256. Go here and select the 256 and let's take a look. The data is there. Uh, if we blank check, failed, erase, blank check, passed. And we can verify they are good. So the last one is the biggest of uh, E problem we have, which is 512. Configuration 512. You can read data. Yes, we have data here. Uh, this is just uh, some garbage data we put in, but blank check clears it failed. Let's do erase. Uh, 
uh, blank check now passed. Let's put this data in. Click to the right. In all, Ulink NT 1.50 now support full family of 9.5 series EEPROMs.